I like yeah. your... Uh... Pañuelo. Thank you very much. Natalie Cole. Aquellos ojos verdes. Oh. I love that song. Nice. Me encanta esa canción. Beautiful ah. song. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Un placer de estar contigo. It's nice Let's to talk be about here. Your, your, your first album in Spanish. Vamos I know. a hablar de tu primer disco en español. Not my last. <laughs> How was it? ¿Cómo fue grabar en español? Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. I, I, I never imagined that I would enjoy this process so much. I was surrounded by Latinos everywhere. The musicians, the engineer, my producers, you know, the people in the house. I mean, it, it was like it was like heaven. It was like stepping out of my comfort zone into a new world. But yet I was loved. They really took care of me so that I could do this because they could see that I loved. I really wanted this, you know, so it was fun. You have to guess in this album. Andrea Bocelli and Juan Luis Guerra. Yes. Tiene dos invitados en este álbum. Andrea Bocelli y Juan Luis Guerra. You know, working with Andrea Bocelli, I'm so fortunate that I've worked with him before. Um, he's wonderful. He's a vocalist dream because you learn so much from him. He can hold a note longer than anybody in the world. And uh, he's, he's a perfectionist. As, as Juan Luis is too, <laughs> you can yeah, tell, <laughs> you can tell. Um, both of them have their own two different styles, but I enjoyed working with both. And my challenge was to match the phrasing, the Spanish, which was not easy because of course, Andrea sings in six different languages, he's fluent, you know. And then Juan Luis, his Spanish is so beautiful. So it was challenging, but I got it. Bachata Rosa is a beautiful song on yes. It's a heat. Have you heard that song before? I've never heard this song. Uh, I was told that Juan Luis wrote this song 30 years ago. It was a big hit for him, very successful. And he suggested that this is the song that we sing together. When I first heard it, <gasps> It's very romantic. It's so romantic. Tengo un corazón. Yes, it's so beautiful. Que palpita. It's, 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 it's unlike any song that's on the record, first of all, because it's bachata. Most of the songs on this record are bolero. So I learned something, you know, and uh, I, I enjoyed the, the meaning of the song. It's so beautiful. I'm so glad we did this because I, I it's the single. It's the first single. Yeah. I'm very happy. You know what? In the Latin uh, music history, we have a, wow. Uh, you have a great, an amazing history. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, because these songs, uh, other than I'd say the Beatles song, Yolo Amo, are very old, from the 1920s. You know, Rudy showed me black and white movies where some of these songs were in the movies. Amazing. And of course, the singers were, whew, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanna, I wanna ask you how difficult it was to choose uh, the 12 something yeah, record. Yeah, it was not Tan easy. Difícil, eh? ¿Cuán difícil fue seleccionar los 12 temas cuando hay tantas canciones bonitas en español? Sí, yes, it was very difficult because there was so many wonderful, wonderful songs, so many great melodies that we, that even Americans remember. Even if they don't know the Spanish, they know these melodies. Like, da di da 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 di da 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 You know, these, I've heard this somewhere before. You can tell where it's going to go, you know, and it makes you feel good to know that. Maybe in the Godfather movie. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> en la película del padrino, ¿no? Ok, frenesí, voy a apagar la luz, contigo aprendí, acércate más, en mañana de carnaval, bésame mucho. Wow, I love that one. Yeah. Quizás, quizás, solamente una vez, oye cómo va, yo lo amo, el día que me quieras, bachata rosa con Luis Guerra, y Amapola. Amapola. Beautiful song. Yes, Beautiful. thank you. Uh, let's talk about your dad. Let's talk about, the, about memories. What, what, what do the best memories you have of, of your father? ¿Cuál es el recuerdo más, más hermoso que tienes de tu padre? Uh, you know, the unfortunate thing is that my father died when I was so young. So I didn't have a lot of time to spend. I cherished the memories that I have with my father. Uh, one of the things we liked to do together was drive. 
my father loved sports cars. So he would take me everywhere. Nobody else would get in the car with him because he drove very fast. <laughs> I love that. We loved sports, baseball, wrestling, boxing, um, basketball. And I was like a, his guy. <laughs> I was the girl guy. You know, I was a tall boy. He loved golf. Not very good at it, but he loved it. Um, he loved food. We both loved food. And uh, even when he was sick, you know, those last days, there was a lady that used to cook for us, and she would make sweet potato pies, small sweet potato pies, and she gave it to him to, in a basket, and he ate every one of them. Wow. <laughs> he spoke to you in Spanish any time? Never, never. He was terrible in Spanish. Wow. <laughs> he would say, I'd say, Dad, how do you say good morning? And he'd say, buenos dias. I'm that's like, it. Dad, that's terrible. <laughs> Come on, buenos, buenos, buenos. Natalie, hey, you are, you are a successful uh, person, but everybody have uh, piedras en el camino, like we say in Spanish. And uh, you have a disease, you have uh, addictions. What do you learn about the past? Has tenido enfermedades, adicciones. ¿Qué lesión te ha dejado el pasado oscuro? Oof. I believe that you can get past anything if you try. It's your attitude. It's, uh, it's not the physical so much that holds you back. It's this. This is where we get our strength. This and this. That's where the strength is. As everything I've been through, I made a choice to be better. If I didn't die, if I was going to live, I needed to live better. And God has been very good to me. Um, I should be dead many times over, but I'm not. So there's still more for me to do, and I am very grateful. And I think that that's what makes me happy, being grateful. It really makes me happy. How was uh, work with Rudy Perez? ¿Qué tal trabajar I con Rudy love Perez? my Rudy, love him. He's amazing. They call him the David Foster of Latin music. <laughs> <laughs> and he is so knowledgeable. He's a wonderful musician himself, has a beautiful voice. Um, he was so, he was like a mentor to me for this record. He really spent a lot of time talking to me about the music, helping with the phrasing. Um, you know, just guiding me. And at the same time, he left me alone. He let me be Natalie. And I, I love that about him. Nice. Okay, I hope you... Ha it takes time to go to my country. Yes. Espero que saque tiempo para ir a la República Dominican Dominicana. Republic, sí, yes. You have to try Mangu over there. Call Juan Luis Guerra, Juan Luis. I, I want to try Mangu. Mangu, Mangu is like a mash, uh, plantain potato. Oh, it's food. Yeah, yeah, food. Plantain? It's mangu, Mangu. Okay. It's made of plantain, but yes. it's like a mashed potato. Oh, really? I love, I love plantain. With a uh, quesito frito, oh. uh, cebollita, onions, yeah. uh -huh. and a salami. Oh, so it's really good. That sounds good. You can good. miss that, okay? Okay. And mango. now, for, for last, right. repeat what I say. Me encanta. Me encanta. Este. Este. Reportero. Reportero. Es muy lindo. Es muy lindo. Now you are my girlfriend again. <laughs> <laughs> we are engaged. <laughs> It was a pleasure, Natalie. Thank you, Tony. <laughs>